looks like it's burning them here. And a wide open look for Bynum. That falls. Great assist by Ramon Sessions. Right back at you. Whoa. They immediately get those three points back. Trading punches. That's how you answer. Stevenson and the jump to finish it off. A beauty. The Rim Rattler. Just a remarkable jam. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. Yeah, that is showtime stuff right there. Major highlight reel material. No one near Sessions as he lets it fly. And again, Washington with the triple. Stevenson inside the three-point line. No good there with this step back Jake. Wizards have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Here's Bynum. And it's Rivers with the rebound. And they force the miss with that good defensive rotation. They're playing well together as a unit. Washington has gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. The drive by Bynum. Lots of room. And he connects with the jumper. You know, he's got a quick trigger from that range when he senses that the defense has backed off. Dunk by Johnson. Is there another player out there capable of moves as stunning as that? A handful at the most. He is an elite company. Uh, he's a guy that causes excitement just by walking into the building. For Washington, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. And a wide open look for Bynum. Again, the Wizards score. L.A. has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Smith dishes to Rivers. Well, you look at the game of basketball, really seems to be on the upswing. Oh, 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 oh. Up high and down hard. That's yeah, right. That's how you use it, brother. <laughs> Give him his badge as a charter member of the High Flyer Club. I think he's president of that club. Oh, man. Did, did they have a vote for that, guys? <laughs> you know, so many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle. And that's held true in this one so far, Steve. And even if it's only a modest advantage that they have in that category, it's still a significant factor. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. Let's go, Trey. Yeah, it's Bynum with the drive. Bynum missing again. More often than not today, those shots have not dropped for him. Smith kicks to Stevenson. The pass to Rivers. Here's Davis, and he gets it to go. That was the third straight high percentage look this defense has allowed. I mean, these defenders have got to start bumping bodies in the paint. Be more physical. Be more aggressive. I agree, Clark, but it doesn't look like they have the will to do that at this moment. And they get it back. Shots good from Butler. Here's Rivers. On the wing, Stevenson. He's covered by Sessions. Rivers passes to Johnson. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Johnson's got five points in the quarter. Boy, they look helpless defensively. Bynum drives in, and it's blocked by Stevenson. The 19-foot shot cats in there. Davis with the assist. Six points for Lance Stevenson. And we're seeing the shots just dropping from everywhere right now. Yeah, since halftime, Steve, They've been operating very efficiently. The kick outside to Butler, and the Wizards getting another bucket right there. Nice kick out after the defense had collapsed on him. Stevenson dishes to Rivers. Second shot opportunity, and the foul goes against Washington. And the Clippers making a change here. Turkle is checked in. Stevenson drives in. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Blake. Wizards have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. Blair is green on Rivers. Here's Bynum. Terrific design on the pick play. And he lays it in. Boy, nice work inside. Tough to get that shot over a big defender like that. Oh, that takes skill and creativity, Steve. Particularly on the release to make sure he doesn't get a hand on it. Well, oh, breakthrough season for Lance Stevenson, the former second-round pick out of Cincinnati. He was an all-star candidate. Did not make it, but was really close. He improved in just about every category as well. Cole Aldrich, who's checked in for the Clippers. 
Johnson comes in for Austin Rippers. Good. Yeah, that was impressive, Paul. He did not hesitate to take the ball right up against the bigger defender. Boy, I like that aggressive mindset there, Steve. Here's Johnson. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. And Lance Stevenson was one of the most improved players in the league last year. Certainly worthy of all-star consideration. He upped his rate of scoring, assists, rebounding. He was fantastic as a rebounding guard at 6'5", 230 pounds. He knows how to use that frame to get to the glass. He's gotten to the line much more recently, shooting a better percentage from the field. He clearly is one of the up-and-coming players in the league. Takes it off the glass. And there it is again. That's where their points have been coming today from the low post. And even under pressure in tight, they've maintained their concentration and converted their opportunities. There's the bucket. Good. And for Stevenson, you look at his career numbers. Steve, he's dramatically improved his field goal and three-point percentages pretty much every season. Yeah, he just has a great love for the game, Kevin. A flair for the dramatic on the court, but most importantly, the dedication to strive for greatness. And stolen by Turkaloo. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Clippers. And they could do no wrong today, Steve. That's right. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Yeah, and a very satisfying win for them, too. A game to remember, and on the other side, definitely one you want to forget as soon as possible. And so looking at their number, this will be win number 22 on the year. And I think this win builds confidence for this year in the matchup. They take the first win of the season series, and... Well, that could play a factor the next time these two teams meet. And that next meeting will be their second and final game of the season series being in opposite conferences. So you bet nobody wants to get swept even in a two-game season series. So I think the next game will be hotly contested. And what a huge standout performance it was for Jay. He was doing everything right. And the points seem to come in bunches. He definitely had the hot hand. How about that? Gets it off right in the face of the big fella. Quick release. And operating on the perimeter like that negates some of the height disadvantage, too. Well, those chances are almost always two points for him. I, I guess the defense did what it had to do to bother him. The Clippers shooting in the fourth quarter has been efficient at 56%. Butler against Stevenson. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night. These guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dreamlike games for a coach. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the side. Doris? Chris, we got to see Lob City in full effect here tonight. Seems like everyone on this team is really on the same page right now. It's exciting, man. It's exciting. Uh... You know, it's something good for the fans to be excited about. But at the end of the day, we got to win game. It's always about that, Chris. Thank you. Kevin? All right, Doris, thank you. And for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. Now our Jordan player of the game, James.